Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at building modules, specifically Tech 2 modules. And that's because at the moment a lot of the Tech 2 modules have become profitable. Now there's probably numerous reasons for this and one of them is possibly that a lot of builders at the moment are focusing on shipbuilding production due to the changes that are coming up. Now there are other reasons for this, the Proving Grounds being one of them. We have the 3 versus 3 uh, destroyers. Um, matches going on so that's obviously consuming quite a lot of modules as well so with this double pressure on it it's as I say causing a few interesting areas that we're going to look at now. So I've picked up a few BPCs from next door in Permitter, brought them back to Jitter because as we know I like to do the vast majority of my building in Jitter and first and foremost we have the light missile launcher. Now the light missile launcher is usually quite a nice item to build. We're looking at uh, well, 860 here to build, and the prices of everything seem pretty reasonable. There's no random spikes in any of the materials, and at present they are selling for one point, just under 1.3 million is. Can you see that here? There's been quite a big spike, and I dare say that is down to um, the destroyers in the three, three versus three. Light missile launchers are probably being used for that. So if we take into account the build cost here, we've got 860, 860 plus 50 for the installation cost, 910. The invention cost is 60, so we're looking at 970, 970,000 uh, ISK, and they're saying for 1.2 million or 1.3 million minus tax, so roughly 80,000 80, ISK. I'm going to be coming out with 300k isk per unit. I'm going to be building 100 units in total, or actually 110, and um, that'll make us 33 million isk. Not bad for four hours and pretty much doing nothing. So I've got all 11 installed now, and again, we've got four hour build time. Now, again, I could have built these next door and pretty much half that build time, but again, it's not really that big an issue. I'd much rather save the hassle of having to transport it next door than just build it here, and it takes a little bit of extra time. So at the moment, we can see here in the light missile market, there are only what, 160 to 200, 300, 350, give or take, before we start getting to the 1.9 million isk marks so that is obviously quite a jump um, let's hope we get there but again if it doesn't it doesn't matter I will hold the light missile launchers that I have and then basically we'll go from there but if it doesn't sell for so save the price that it's going for at the moment if there is a sudden um, splurge onto the market then it's not really a problem I'm just going to hold on to them so one of the big questions I often get asked is how many do I put on the market to sell at a time? And again, this will vary depending what it is that you're actually selling. So you can see here with the uh, 200 mil auto cannons, I put 50 on at uh, 1.458 million. And that was what, uh, 40 days ago, 39 days. So the reason now, just to clarify here, I have, how many do we have? We've got 1,380 currently sitting in the hangar waiting to sell. Now, if we scroll down, we can see here I am obviously miles down. And I've also got 286 currently selling at 1.664 million. Now, at the time of placing both of these orders, I would have been the lowest um, sell order in Jitter at the time. Occasionally, I will place it on where I think the market will come back to, but not all that often. So, again, at the time of placing these, these would have been the lowest buy orders. Now, as you can see here, I was quite optimistic that I might sell around about 300, but the market tanked quite quickly, and we can see in the 30-odd uh, minutes that are in between my two orders here, the price actually went from 1.6 million down to 1.4 million. Obviously, with the time I placed this order not a single one of these sold. Now the reason I only placed 50 here and I placed a larger order here because obviously when I placed this these were selling I'd probably sold some prior and I decided to put on a bigger order hoping that obviously they were going to sell. It tanked quite quickly and therefore I only put I could have amended this order but you can see here just to amend that orders 4 million isk 5 million isk and basically it was just easier to put on a smaller order. Now we only went in with 50 this time because obviously to amend that it's much less but still quite hefty it's still a million isk but 
I haven't amended it because I'm hoping sooner or later the market will come back and we've still got 51 days for that to happen. Now, yes, granted, it doesn't happen very often. We get to that amount of ISK. In fact, we only have two instances in the last year. But obviously, there's been quite a lot going on over the couple of months. And for the moment, until that order starts to get uh, runs out of time, then there's, there's no real rush to move it. It's, I'm... I mean, losing opportunity cost, yes, but just having it sit there isn't really costing me anything. And again, I like to have these orders in place because, again, it will alert me to when or if the market gets back here. Because, again, I haven't checked this market in probably 39 days since it went, um, started dropping. Because, well, I can afford to put it on and leave it and wait for the market to come back to me. Now, obviously... The nice thing is every so often when the market does come back to you and you've got orders on that you've not necessarily forgot about but haven't bothered changing, I will be alerted when things start selling at 1.4 million ISK if it gets back to this. And that will basically prompt me then to drop some more on. So it very much depends on what the market is doing um, as to how much I place on the market at a time. Again, I could have potentially have placed the 1,400 units that I have at this price and... Again, at the time, it seemed like a good idea to place 300. They were selling, but, you know, obviously the market was tanking. It didn't make sense, therefore, to drop a, a large order here because the market was going down drastically. And we can see just, you know, I dare say these people were in the same position I was in. Um, again, we can see they haven't amended it for the same amount of time. And within well, a couple of hours, basically, we were down back into the, uh, the 100 uh, the 1 million mark so it varies on the market it depends what you're doing and it depends whether you're willing to sit on it for any length of time but there is no hard fast rule that I use when selling amounts sometimes if I feel that the market is going to come back to me then I might place them all at once or I may try and so say eke out as much of that isk as I can at that moment so it, it, it depends and varies so we've got the Copro 2 here that seems to be doing quite well. You can build them for 9, 890, 890 plus 76, 960. And then we've got the invention cost of around about 80. It takes us, what, to 1 million and 40? 1 point, uh, yeah, 1 million and 40. Then we've got... Uh, the price of 1.3 here minus tax so around about 80 gives us roughly 200k profit per unit now these obviously build relatively swiftly even in jitter so again 200k times 100 of these and you're looking at 20 million isk again it's not earth shattering or groundbreaking but it is enough that again do this with a few alts and you could be making a tidy profit and again there's a few other items I've, I've found the um the Mega Pulse here is actually doing quite nicely as well. I'm not going to bang out the, the numbers for that, but you get the rough idea of 1.38. 138, they're selling for uh, 2.8 million. So, again, nice areas to be looking at. So, we're going to finish on Plex, and that is because Plex is having a bit of a rally at the moment. And we can see here off the chart, we got down to 2.2 million isk, and we are having a bit of a bounce. Now, this could be a a false start and we could be basically going to drop again after this who knows but i've bought 10,000 plex at what 2.26 million isk a piece um the reason for this is i'm expecting it or sooner or later it's going to go back up more than likely i can't see it dropping much further and i did say this in one of my other videos so i thought i'd park some isk in there because Regardless of where it goes, I can always do stuff with it, and I don't expect it going down much further, but it could go up a lot further, in my personal opinion. And so therefore, I thought I would take the bet and place some ISK into it. Now, could have put some more ISK into it, but at the moment there are a lot of places where ISK is useful, probably more so than Plex. Uh, but again, it's nice just to have the ability to use it as game time or to buy skins um, in the near future. And so with that, I think we'll wrap the video up there. Um, I hope that was interesting and, again, a bit of an insight into how, why, and what I look at when I'm doing bits and bobs. So with that, thanks for your time, and I'll talk to you again soon.